My great grandfather speak about emotion to me. When I say speak, I mean hear the way words roll sweetly off his tongue. And the sound of my grandfather replying, yeah, yeah. I heard my grandfather today understand Yiddish, but not utter one word. And when I say not utter one word, I mean in his mother's tongue. But I could hear him be sensitive and kind as his elderly father was struggling with exhaustion. And with exhaustion, I mean, I could hear deep pauses. Tell a story about uh, uh, your mother catching you the rolling and what your of the reel to reel. Scratch every second, counting their time. What did I do? and our silences. And my great-grandfather trying to remember, but only able to recollect in his mother's tongue. Yes, and those stories in Memeloshin seem to be lost. And when I mean lost, I mean Yiddish. I mean my grandmother never taught us. I mean my grandfather. And when I mean taught us, I mean my mother. His last wish for us was to learn from our mother's tongues. And when I mean mother's tongues, I mean the way his accent now haunts my dreams. Rolling sounds, elongated land. Shit. I mean sounds, I mean pages. And when I mean my mother, I mean how my grandfather understood but replied in English. My mother and me get really mixed up with the words. Words get stuck backwards and upside down and caught in corners. And when I mean caught, I often wonder what our voices would sound like with your great-grandmother's tongue.